Good morning, Hands of the Academy. It's Addison Mackerlane. And I'm Lucy Gelbstein. Today is Friday, March 26, 2021. Today we are featuring a book talk with Mrs. Saunders. Attention sixth graders, a new reading challenge is underway. It's called Bikes for Books, and it is sponsored by the Hampton Mansions. The books, the more books you read, the more chances you have to win a new bike. Fill out the Bikes for Books Google form located on the library website. Every time you finish a book from now until the last week of school for a chance to win, two brand new mountain bikes with helmets will be raffled off at the end of the school year. See Ms. Saunders and Mrs. Vernal if you have any questions. Today is the final day to sign up for spring sports. The spring sports are baseball, softball, and track. Sign ups are done online, so please have your parent follow the link they received in their email to sign you up. Stay tuned for an, an announcement for mandatory meetings after school for each sport. Shark News is looking for new types of stories ideas. Are you doing something in one of your classes that you think would make a really good story for Shark News? Please send your ideas to Mrs. McNichol at smcnichol at sau90.org. Last meal beat, tomato slice, slice, or sugar salad sandwich, full of and milk, and touch it with some potato and scrub yummy. This past weekend, teachers in Hampton sponsored a virtual 5K race. The money raised is going to help. Hampton families, take a look at these pictures from the 5K. A well-known Chinese proverb states, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. On March 27, 2021, millions of people worldwide will take the first step towards reversing climate change by turning off all lights and electronics from 8.30 to 9.30 p.m. local time. People will participate in Earth Hour, the hour-long voluntary rolling blackouts also observed by landmark structures such as the Eiffel Tower and the Empire State Building are more than symbolic gestures. They are catalysts for urgent change. Now in its 14th year, Earth Hour is the brainchild of the Australian chapter of the World Wildlife Fund, WWF. On March 31st, 20, 2007, the nonprofit urged the citizens and businesses in Sydney to switch off all lights and turn off all non-essential devices for one hour. Over 2 million households and 2,100 enterprises compiled with the request. The small action helped save 10% of all the electricity, the equivalent to, a car to the carbon dioxide emitted by 48,000 cars consumed by the city's residents in a regular evening hour. Shark News would like to know if you participated in Earth Hour and what you did during that time on Saturday from 8.30 to 9.30 p.m. Send us pictures or blurbs about what you did. Send them to sharknews at sau90.org.
We can't physically be together shoulder to shoulder, but we are together screen to screen. When we all unite, we can overcome the most difficult of challenges. Join me and millions around the world to speak up for nature and show we care. We are in this together. I'm switching off for Earth Hour because I think our planet is worth fighting for. Join us on the 27th of March at 8.30 p.m. for Earth Hour and speak up for nature. In Ms. Birch's 8th grade science, one of their geology projects is to find a geology topic in the news, research the events, and create a short video summary about what happened. Take a look at a couple of videos. In 1966, a sample of ice was taken from Greenland. It was later discovered in 2017. In 2019, scientists started to research it and found pieces of fossilized plants in the ice. Scientists from the University of Vermont found that the plants proved that there was once forest and vegetation where the ice is today. This study shows that because Greenland's ice had melted away in the past during warmer periods, it can melt away again in the future because of climate change. Mrs. Boardman. Okay, let's do Miss Boardman. Ms. We'll Boardman. do Miss Boardman for 500. This is Santora. I'm gonna go Mrs. Boardman. I'm gonna say Mrs. Santoro. Um, Officer DeMarco. I, it's Miss Goudreau. You went to Pinkerton. Um, Mrs. Frost. Miss Goudreau. Miss Goudreau. I'm gonna say Mrs. Goudreau. Mrs. Goudreau. And now for your five day forecast. On Friday, it'll be 66 degrees and raining in the morning. On Saturday, it'll be 54 degrees and mostly sunny. On Sunday, it'll be 49 degrees and rainy. On Monday, it'll be 46 degrees and partly cloudy. And on Tuesday, it'll be 52 degrees and mostly sunny. We have a weather photo sent in by Braden Sullivan. Beautiful ocean and sky. And we have a sign of spring photo from Elizabeth Marshall. It's a sprouting helicopter seed. Helicopter seeds or the winged seeds produced by maple trees. Please send signs of spring weather photos into sharknews at sa90.org. That's your weather. I'm Alina Hardiman. Fact of the day. Bright research suggests that yawning may play an essential role in cooling our brains. In honor of Women's History Month, our thought for the day comes from Simone Biles, an American artistic gymnast, with a combined total of 30 Olympic and World Championship medals. She said, practice creates confidence. 
Confidence empowers you. Simone Biles. Celebrating his birthday today is Brooks Connors. Celebrating on Sunday is Hunter Babiak. Happy birthday, Brooks or Hunter. And now for your joke. Braden Sullivan from Mr. Paradzik's homeroom sent in a joke for this week. Hey, Lucy. Hey, what? Why did the dinosaur cross the road? I don't know. Why? Because the chicken didn't even exist yet. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, before you speak, text, chat, or post, ask yourself, is it kind, is it true, and is it necessary? And remember the academy way. Manage yourself, act responsibly, and respect yourself and others. Go out there and make it a great day.